Hi everyone, Scalter here. Um, back here today to show you a little review on a new toy I got. This is what we call the iTube Variable Wattage by Dencat. I got this from my friend. Shoutouts to Misoda, Mr. Misoda of Manila Vapors and the Chatters. So anyhow, uh, I got this from him a couple of days ago, almost a week now. And I've been using this as my daily uh, vaporizer. And this is a variable wattage unit, as the name goes, I2 variable wattage. And it's pretty much the way it looks like. It's pretty much the same as the, you know what. And uh, it's stainless steel construction. The LED here, the button, um, pretty much the same. So anyhow, the the thing here of course this is from China and it's inexpensive and well performance wise I don't know uh, really works well for me I'm uh, I've been using my you know what for a couple of for almost a year already I've been using that other unit and uh, um, I, I used to compute because uh, it's variable voltage so every time I put an atomizer in, I need to check the resistance, I compute for uh, what voltage I need to set it at. Because uh, I'm vaping at 12.5 12 watts. So with this, uh, it gives you the option to use it as a variable voltage. It also gives you the option to use it as a variable wattage unit. So if you set it to variable wattage, the menu will show you uh, if the first and the second menu which should show you variable voltage um, options like voltage up and voltage down if you set it to wattage it will become PO which means power up oh PU rather power up and PD power down when it's set to that it means it's already set to wattage and you can set up uh, you can set it up to 15 watts but mind you, if you're using an 18650 battery, you can only set it up to 12. You can set it up to 15, but you won't really feel any change because it only can go up to 12. Um, and uh, so if you want to go to 15, you need to use two 18350 batteries, two smaller batteries stacking uh, to make it work up to 15. But mm, I don't really know who vapes at 15 watts. Uh, 12 watts is quite warm for me already. So, anyhow, um, I'm using it with my Aga T, um, um, and uh, I just um, removed the knurling so it looks flush like that. Although it doesn't look flush on, of course, on the i2 because it's tapered top. Anyhow, um, I've been using, like I said, I've been using this for a couple of days already, and I don't know, it really works well. Um, aesthetically, um, I don't really like how it looks, uh, but if you hold it, you know, it's sturdy, it's solid, it's heavy, it's made out of stainless steel, and, well, works well. If you're on a tight budget and you want a good variable voltage or variable wattage to that, to that effect, I must say... I would recommend one of these. I would recommend you getting one of these. You can get the you can get this from Dencat, from Mr. Uh, Dennis Rostata of Dencat, and you're really gonna enjoy this. I must say, you're really gonna enjoy this. Um, at first, I did like the previous versions, but when this came out, man, this is a good deal. I must say, this is a good deal, and uh, pretty much. There's really nothing bad I can say about this because I really like it. Uh, I missed using my Provary and uh, having one of these is really a good catch, man. You really would enjoy having one of these if you have been using a Provary or want to get a Provary. If you don't have the budget, you're on a tight budget, get one of these. Works well, works good. <coughs> Excuse me. Now the good thing with variable wattage, uh, most people may not know, with variable wattage, 
as soon as you set it to the right warmth of the vapor that you like, let's say, like me, I always run at 12 watts, if I set it to that uh, wattage level, even if I remove the atomizer, replace it with a different one with different resistance, it will still fire it at 12 watts. So that's the difference with variable wattage and variable voltage. Uh, when you set it to this wattage, you're never really going to change it unless you want it want a colder vape or a warmer vape. While for a variable voltage, every time you're going to be replacing the uh, atomizer with a different one with a different resistance, you'd have to make sure to double check what voltage you're running. You'd have to change the voltage again. Although I don't really think you a lot of people here change atomizers that often so it doesn't really it's not really a hassle but you know uh, it, it it's it helps it helps that you know, you're able to just replace the atomizer and vape away without thinking about anything uh, I've set this to 12 watts and I haven't really changed it ever since now I put my mini Phoenix put the Aga T on this and no, I never really changed the uh, wattage anymore because that's how I vape. I vape at 12 watts. So I, it, I'm lucky that I'm vaping at 12 watts because if I was vaping at 12.5 or up to 15, I would need to change the batteries with two 18350s. The downside with that is, of course, uh, both two batteries with smaller um, capacity will be draining at the same time. So it's going to have a shorter lifespan than an 18.6. Uh, last 18.6 usually lasts me a day so this is good although I have spare batteries at least it lasts me a good day and then when I get home replace it with a new one charge the older the other battery for the, for the following day so well I don't want to take this any longer and again this is the i2 variable wattage by Dencat. Hope you guys enjoy. If you, again, if you're interested, drop by any Dencat store. This should be a very good deal. Keep on vaping, everyone.